Okay then gang, so I think we've learned enough of the basics of React Native now to jump to the next project in this course, which is gonna be the Reviews app. Now this is the app I showed you at the very beginning of this playlist. And it's gonna incorporate a load new features such as React Navigation, custom fonts, images, form validation, and a lot more stuff as well, but it's also gonna build up on everything that we've learned so far. So I just wanna take a couple of minutes, first of all, to talk about the structure of this project because I always think it's a good idea to get a bird's eye picture of what it's gonna look like first and then tackle each bit individually as we go forward. So first of all, we're gonna have several different screens on this app. We're gonna have a home screen which is gonna list all the different reviews then we're going to have a review details page, which is going to list the details of a particular review. And then finally, an about page, which contains information about the app, I suppose. We're also going to have a modal, which is a bit like a slide up or a pop up on the app. And that is going to contain a form to add a new review to the app. Now, to get between all of these different screens, we're going to need some kind of navigation system. And to do that, we'll be using a third party package called React Navigation. And this is going to enable us to, for example, switch between the home and the reviews detail screens. When we click on a review title on the home screen, it's going to navigate us to the review detail screen for that particular review and then back again. And likewise, we can also implement some kind of navigation draw using this package as well, which is gonna allow us to have some kind of little icon in the menu. We click on that, it opens some kind of navigation draw, and we can navigate between the home and the about screen that way, okay? So we're gonna talk about all of that as we go forward, and this is the basic structure of the app. There will be other parts of the puzzle as we go forward as well. So we're gonna to return to this picture in the future, but for now, let's just create this new project and set up the basic screens. So then the first step is to create a brand new React Native project because I wanna start from absolute scratch. So to do that, I've opened up my command prompt and I've navigated into the folder where I wanna create this project. And I'm gonna use Expo to do that by saying Expo init and then the name of this project, which is gonna be Game Zone. Okay, press enter. And we're gonna start with a blank template again. And we're gonna name this Game Zone like so. Press enter and that is gonna create this new React Native project for us. Okay, so once that's done, just navigate into the new project directory, CD Game Zone and press enter and then what i'm going to do first of all is just open this up in visual studio code so i can say code and then dot for the current directory to open up vs code in this directory and now we can see this brand new project over here so what i'm going to do now is open up the terminal and we should already be in the correct directory game zone and i'm just going to say expo start to start up this app and this is going to open up the Expo development tools for me in a browser over here, which I'm going to zoom over. And we can see now we have this option to run on the Android device. I'm going to click that and it's going to attempt to open up the Android device, which I already had open over here, by the way. And now we can see it's bundling the JavaScript bundle. Like I said, the first time you do this, when you create a new project, it does always take a little bit longer, but we should see this dummy app in a second. Okay, and there we go. There is the dummy content, which we should be able to see inside app.js. So the only real thing I wanna do in this lesson is just to create my initial screens, my home screen, uh, my about screen, and the review detail screen, and just put some simple dummy content in each of those. So they're ready, set up, and waiting for later when we come to make them better, essentially. So what I'm gonna do this time is store all of my screens inside a screens folder. So I'll create that at the top level by saying screens over here. And then inside here, let's create a few new files. So home.js, and then we want one for the about screen, so about.js, and then finally for the review detail screen, so review details.js. Okay, so let's start now with the home screen and first of all we need to import react so import from react and we want the react library okay there's the first step then we want something from react native we need the style sheet and probably a view and a text component so let's import again this time from react hyphen native and we want the style sheet 
we want the view component and also the text component. Okay, so now we have those, let's create this functional component, export default function home, and then inside here, all we'll do is return some simple JSX, and this is gonna be a view. We'll give this a style in a minute. Inside the view, a text widget, which will just say home screen. So if we land on this in the future, we know exactly what it is, the home screen. Now, we will add a style to this. So style is equal to styles dot container. And I'm gonna create that style at the bottom. So we'll say const styles is equal to style sheet dot create, pass in an object into that method, and then create the container styles. And this container is gonna be very simple. It's just gonna add a padding of 24 pixels all the way around. That should hopefully bring it in a little bit and bring it down a little bit so we can see the content. We'll readdress this container later maybe and make it a bit different. Okay, so we have now this home component. Let's do exactly the same for the about and review details. So all I'm gonna do is copy all of that and paste it inside about. I'm gonna change this from home to about and change this from home to about. And I think that is all we need to do. Yep, yeah, okay. And let's do the same for review details. So change this from home to review details. And then down here, we'll change this from home to review details. So all the screens at the minute are very similar, just some bog standard screens, just set up and ready for the future when we actually start to develop them a little bit more. Okay, so we have all those screens, but we can't see any of them over here at the minute. We just still see the dummy content inside app.js. So what I'd actually like to do is delete all of this bump from here. We don't need this. So I'm gonna get rid of that up here. Um, we don't need any of this either at the minute. So I'm gonna get rid of that and I'm gonna get rid of this JSX. What I do want to do is import one of these screens and show one of them by default right here when we load the app. Now it makes sense to show the home screen first of all. So let's import home from, and it's dot forward slash into the components, oh not components this time, sorry, into the screens folder. And then it's the home.js file that we want. So now we can, oops, now we can nest that here by saying home, and that should load up the home component, which is right here inside the root of the app. So if I save this now, then we should see it over here. It should just say home screen or something similar. Home screen, it says it right up there. Now we don't get any padding on that for some reason. So, oh, that's because we said stylesheet.container. This should be styles.container and it's gonna be the same for the others as well. Schoolboy error, styles, dot container and then finally on review details styles dot container okay so now hopefully we should see that little bit of padding around the home screen and we can actually see it okay so there is the setup in the next video what i'd like to do is show you how to use custom fonts in a project